Guy been Security. I'm giving a demonstration of my recording studio setup. I got an overhead camera. And I'm going to show you how I work each one. Here's, here's a remote. I have one camera running directly in front of me. I'm looking at the monitor. I'm zooming in with the remote. Zooming out with the remote. Now I'm going to switch to the overhead camera. Component. HDMI. Hit OK. You got to be fast. HDMI, hit OK. OK, the other, the top camera has to get turned on. Okay, I switched. I switched the top camera on now. There's the monitor. And the monitor right now is looking at the area right here. You can see my hand in the monitor. Now to switch back. Now I, I could zoom in with this. I could zoom in and you'll see the monitor zooming in right to the tabletop. See my hand. Zoom out. I'm going to switch cameras. Hit input. Alright, I'm on HDMI. Let me go to component. Okay, that's the overhead camera now. Right here, the overhead camera. Now I'll switch to the distant camera. Input. HDMI and I want component. Hit OK. Now the other camera's on. And it's taking a picture of me. Taking a picture and I'm zooming out. And that's, that's my setup. And the way I built this, I thought about it, I thought about it, I thought about it, I finally come up with this, with this setup. A one inch square tube, aluminum, hanging, eight foot long, it's tight, it's tight, and the way this gets moved, this slides into position where I might want it. Then I have the I got the handle for changing the position. This like that. Why I like these particular cameras is because they have the attachment in the back. Or HDMI. If you find it turns 180, I got a remote control. At this camera, I'm set up on component. There's a component out, component cables. The monitor has both component and HDMI in the back. That's a TV monitor. When I do my welding videos, <clears throat> I was using this special tripod. <clears throat> Here's the attachment. It's auto darkening lens on a platform. This platform hooks to the, the tripod fixture up there. 
okay? And then I could utilize it as a welding camera. So when I'm doing the, the distant video, introducing myself, or holding up things and so forth, I could then switch over to the overhead camera and show the actual welding. So I'd be able to show the, the torch, my hands, the rod, and my helmet will not get in the way if I'm, if I'm welding something. That's the way this works. To take this off, now this clears my head. This this is uh, that's above six foot, and easy enough to remove this. I just pull out these big industrial quarter pins. These are quarter pins, quarter inch. Pull them out. This drops down, and just take off this glide lighter on the top you just have to move this to position it okay I got a leg bolt and, I, and up there I got I got two uh, long wood screws going into three-quarter inch plywood. All right, I'll tell you, it looks great. It looks great. You know, and I could, I could, you know, do, do, do videos also on the other side. But I just gotta move this up. Actually, you just you take the camera off in order to do this. The camera comes off with the quick disconnect. The regular tripod fixture. All right, and then I could I could video on this side of the room. That's my monitor. It's my ugly face. Uh, here's my laptop that I use for my flash cut CNC. That's a CNC mill right here. And then I got a uh, three phase motor runs this lathe. And I got the uh, inverter or converter, whatever they call it built into the back of that. This is my shop. It's small, but I got everything. I got everything I need in it. I got all my welding equipment over here. Big stick, TIG. Air cooled, water cooled TIG. Vince Curry, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe. Thank you.